Welcome to mytheambooks.com. This video, I am going to explain how the Firebase chat application is working. So this application will do the Ionic as a front end, Firebase as a back end. So we have used a Firebase real time database for a storage options. So we have a three screens here. So each one is uh, uh, running on a separate window and this device. So this is the real device. I just shared the screen. So I'm going to uh, log in with Facebook here. So here you can see the login is successful and you can see there is no chat is available and there is no group chat and there is no friends here. And when I go to the settings, so I can able to edit the profile or I can enable the notification. So I'm going to the profile. So here you can see my details. So I can update these details and I can log out and even I can able to delete the account. So I'm going back. So I'm going to enable the push notification. And uh, so for this window, I'm going to log in with the Google. So I'm selecting an account. Now the login is successful. The same goes for here. So for this, I'm going to create an account manually. So I'm going to use some test account. So here the account has been created successfully. So first, first thing we have to send a friend request. So I'm going for a friend. So here I can able to search the user. So first I'm searching for Sundar. So I'm clicking add. So I'm going to send a friend request. So here you can see uh, the user, they got the friend request. So you can see the notification here. So I'm going to send the to the another user. So send it again. So here you can see. So let's accept the request now. So the user, they can accept and reject the request. So when I accept, so here you can see inside the front so we can able to see the user profile so let's accept here also so once the friend request is accepted the user they can chat each other individually so let's uh, test some message so if i'm sundar account so i'm going to send some message here So I'm sending some message. So now it's sent successfully. And here you can see. So we, we got the uh, messages over here. So I can also see the profile. So when I click this uh, information, so I can uh, start chat or even I can block the user. So now I'm going to send some uh, documents or uh, images, something like this. So I'm going to take the camera. So now I'm going to capture the image and send it here. So if I want, I can able to crop the picture also. So I send now. So you can see the update the uploading uh, percentage. So here you can see the image. So here also you can see this one. So now I'm going to send some uh, picture from a gallery. And I'm sending here. So now the both user received it. Same thing goes for a video and location. So let's take some video. So I'm going to record something for a second. And stop it. So I'm going to send that one. So you can see the uploading percentage. So now the video is uploaded successfully. So from here, I can able to play the video. So just, since it's a two second video, there is nothing here. And I can uh, zoom the image and I can close it. I can, here, I can also send the location. So when I click the location, so you it will access your location and give the lat and lan. So when I click share, so here you can see. So when I click view on map, so it will open a Google map and uh, it will plant the marker for you. So you can go back and let's uh, create a new group chat. So I'm going to add here. So I'm going to add some uh, group name. Let's update the group icon. So I'm going to pick it from the gallery. So I select the group icon name. 
So once it is uploaded, so I can add a new user for a group. So I can create a group. Once the group is created, so the remaining people will get notified. So now we can start the chat. So group also the user they can chat uh, share the multiple uh, attachments they can also send some message the user they can also send the uh, emojis here so it's a emoji supported so by default we can use the existing thing and you can send the messages you can also able to block the user so you can go to the information and block the user so if you blocked, you cannot see the chat messages here. If you want to unblock the user, you can go to the settings and see the block the list and you can unblock it. So once you unblock, you can able to see the chat here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are having any issue or if you have any doubts, so you can click the support and you can reach us.